out and talk it over peaceful. I'll see you get a square deal. Them skunks don't want no square deal. They're trying to steal our range. Skunks, are we? Goodbye, peaceful. What do you call him? Peaceful Patton. His mother raised him not to fight. up on weekdays. On Sunday, I, I ought to wring your neck. you home. You wrote me you had a good job and that everything was going well. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't have taken that job if I'd known there was a cattle war in the making. When the boys started fighting, I had to quit. William, I'm proud of you for living up to my teaching. And now, you're just in time to take me to church. That is, unless you'd rather rest after your trip. Now, Mother, you know there's nothing I'd rather do than go to church with you. There you are, son. Hey, you all ready? All ready. Gee, you look sweet. Sheriff, here comes a hard hombre that robbed me and broke my nose to boot. Why, that ain't the hard hombre. That's Peaceful Patton, the sturdiest young man in these parts. That's a hard hombre or I'm a cross-eyed liar. Morning, Miss Patton. Morning, Sheriff. Howdy, Peaceful. How are you, Sheriff? Say, by the way, do you know of a good job for a reliable young man? I do know of a range foreman's job out in Socorro County, if you don't mind working for a woman. What sort of a woman? A Spanish widow, ma'am. Comes from a very fine family. William, it isn't every day that you can get a chance to work for a nice, respectable widow. That's right, Mother. Her name's Sonora Martini. Head over the Sonora County and ask your way into the old Martini Rancho. Thanks, Sheriff. Still think he's the hard hombre? No, but it was the old lady that convinced me. That boy of her looks as much like the hard hombre as one rattlesnake looks like another. Now you get the job with the widow woman. Then I won't have to worry about you. I know you're safe and out of danger. Oh, I, I better start right away. You'll do no traveling on Sunday. Oh, of course not, Mother. I guess the old lady Martini's would be just as glad to see me on Monday.
Gee, that's the prettiest music I ever heard. What do you want? Good afternoon. I came after that ranch foreman's job. Oh. Wait in the other room. I'll see you in a moment. Yes, sir. all right with your mother. My mother? I am the Signora Martini. This is my neighbor, the Signora Romero. Oh. I'm William Penn Patton. Uh, could I have my order, Signora? Go to the DT Bar Ranch. It's right to the north. And get back 30 head of my cattle from Joe Barlow. Of course, if you can't get back my cattle when they stray, you are not the man for the job. That's right. And if I do get them back, I am. Have you a gun? Oh, no. And if I did have, I wouldn't use it. I draw the line at fighting. I'll try and get them back peaceful. All right. Adios, senor. You shouldn't have done me that. He'll get into trouble. Oh, he annoyed me. What are you doing on this range, stranger? I'm looking for 30 head of Martini's cattle. You better follow that road to the ranch house and talk to Mr. Joe Barlow. He don't tolerate any sightseeing on this range. All right, partner. Howdy, partner. Who are you? I'm Joe Barlow's boy, and I can lick my weight in wildcat. <laughs> well, that's great. Is your dad home? Yeah. He can lick his weight in grizzly. Well, you want to ride? Can I hold the rain? Sure. There you go. Take that a hold of him. The Martinez man coming to see you, Joe. I sent him around a long way of the road. So he wants the Sonora's 30 head, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Here he comes. Mr. Joe Barlow here? 
I'm from the Senora Martinez. I want 30 head of her cattle. They got mixed into a shipment I sent last week. Come on down, Sonny. I don't want to get down. I'm obliged to ask you to pay for those cattle if you haven't got them, Mr. Barlow. Well, under the, under the circumstances, I can't refuse. Satisfactory? Kind of generous, aren't you? You enjoy your ride, partner? The nerve of it. Why? Who is he? The hard hombre. No wonder you were scared of him with little Joey. He couldn't lick his white and tadpole. Senor Patton, he say he come back from the barroom and make report to you. Did he bring my cattle back with him? I don't see any cattle. No, senor. I doubt very much whether he went near Barlow. Show him in. Mr. Barlow says he shipped your cattle to market, but... That's uh, enough. I told you, you must bring my cattle back here if you wanted a job on this ranch. Good night. Good night, senora. Uh, by the way, I suppose I should keep the money. Well, what money? Your money. As long as I couldn't get the cattle, I let him pay for them. Well, that doesn't sound very much like Barlow. Oh, he has a reputation, huh? What did you do to him? Nothing. But how did you get this money? I took it. Won't you sit down? No, thanks. Don't you smoke? My mother doesn't approve. Oh, I see. Would your mother very much object if you had a little glass of wine? Oh, I'm sure she would. What an unusual man. Oh, come now. Tell me, how did you get this money away from Barlow? I told you. Oh, no. You held him up and took it away from him, didn't you? He seemed right glad when I gave him a chance to pay for him. Very well, senor. Good night. Don't forget, I take charge of your ranch in the morning, you know. I keep my agreement. Just a minute. Why didn't you walk out with this money when I wouldn't listen to you? Why should I? Boss, that there hard hombre is going to work for that Martinez outfit. Ah, uh, don't I know it. Is it worth a month's pay if I get rid of him? Two months' pay. I'll pay. Ain't he bloodthirsty, though? Yeah, it's too bad he's got to go in his prime like that. I'll tell the car it was suicide. Shut up, you rannigans. Get out of the way and give me a chance to make my play. Hard hombre is riding this way now. <laughs> Come on and 
I'll show you the remains. Cowboys owes me a new hat. Not yet. I'll tell him you're waiting for him. I'm not waiting for him. As this, senora. worried about water for the cattle. You know, uh, the rain is getting pretty dry. William, I rely on you to look after my cattle. You know, I trust you very much. Isn't there something else you'd like to tell me? Uh, no. Nothing I can think of. Very well. Good night. Night, senor. William! Bill's all right. William, come here. You may report to me in the morning, as long as you have nothing to say that is worth listening to. Oh, gee, I'm, I'm awfully sorry. These evenings have meant so much to me. I never noticed that I ever meant anything to you at all. Any orders, Senora? That will be all for this evening, William. Yes, sir. I say it was plenty for any evening. Well, I couldn't help it. No. <laughs> and you know the boss here? <laughs> ah, but you forget the deal I made when he started to work here. I said I would pay him whatever he wants. Oh, Isabel, oh, you, you need a chaperone. You need an old-fashioned duenna. A duenna? Yes. To keep William in his place? Certainly. <laughs> if you only knew. Don't worry about William. He's so safe, he isn't even interesting. Oh, he seems to be a very enterprising young man when you hire him. <laughs> Thought so too. <laughs> you ever see this country so dry before? One, 
Si, senor. About 20 years ago. All the water was gone from the land. At first, the cattle bellowed. Day and night, for water. Wherever I went, they washed me, asking for water with their eyes. So one day, we shot and shot until I had no living cow or horse. Oh, yes, well, that's not going to happen to the senor's cattle. But what can we do, senor? I got an idea. Come on back to the house, senor. I didn't know you had company. What's the matter? Nothing. Mm, nothing. Oh, there's a matter of branch business that I've got to talk over with you alone. Oh, no, William. Anything that you would have to say about the ranch, yes. Tia Maria, she can hear. Oh, no, I won't be going. I won't be going. Won't be. No, no, you stay here, Tia Maria. No, you you stay. No, I won't be going, dear, I'm sure. Oh, it, it's much better. It's too late for you to go to your ranch. You stay here with no, me. No, huh? no, darling, I will not. Oh, no, the you world stay here the door. with me. I must be going. Wait. As soon as I'm finished with the senora, I'll take you home. No, no. Oh, Tia Maria. Just a minute. What I've got to talk over with you is very important. And we've got to settle it right away. Mm -hmm. It's all right, uh, William. Uh, you, you wait here just a minute. Please. Will you please open that door? I don't want anybody to know what I'm going to do. Oh. Shall we sit down? No. I should give you a message right away. She says she's going right to town and she will send the sheriff back. That's a funny message. Yes, very funny. Now that we're all alone. Oh, no, please. I want to get your permission to leave right away. What? Your permission to go away. Oh, uh, yes, yes, of course, you would. You 
see your cattle are going to die of thirst unless I can find a new range for them. Now, I know a valley down on the Green River. And you want to go right away, don't you? I want to be the first one in there so I can tie the range race up for your stock. That's why I'm in a hurry. Yes, that's a very good reason. I'll help you get started, eh? Now, don't you boys worry about the cattle. Joe Barlow left this afternoon to get range rights where there's water. I'll bet he's halfway to Green River already. Si, senora. If the cattle stop now, they may live to reach the Green River. I'll ride ahead and get range rights for them. I'm starting now. Do I go too? No? Oh, no, Juan. You are the only man I can trust. Take charge. And now that the hot hombre is gone, you and the boys bring on the cattle tomorrow. Si, senora. Si, senora. Huh? Good morning, men. Any place I can get any breakfast around here? There's a settler's shack right over there. What's the matter with you? Haven't you got any eyes in your head? Thank you, stranger. Howdy, Brother Barlow. Howdy. You know that fella? Yeah. That maverick you was trying to get on the prod is the hard hombre. Is that really the hard hombre? Is that hombre? the hard hombre? Yeah, that's him, all right. Absolutely deadly to men and women alike. Gosh. They say that he's done a killing for every year of his life. And started in with his own daddy. to me getting a bite of breakfast. I'm too busy to get any breakfast for a lazy cow puncher. I'll pay. Oh. Say, who do I see about buying the range rights up in this? There ain't no more range rights for sale around here. Them cattlemen's bought up the whole valley already. Thanks. for some range rights. Seems like I'll have to make a deal with some of you gentlemen. You can have what I bought up. You can count me in. Me too. Don't forget now, I'll offer you mine first. Oh, I'm sure surprised to see you fellas so obliging. You can have half of mine. No. No, that wouldn't seem quite fair to you. Did you hear that? It don't seem fair to you. Just before he killed Bill Blake. Gets at the Dodge if he offers to toss a coin. He'll go for a coin and come out with a gun. That's how he got those two men down in Red Rock. Don't listen to him, partner. You take my range and don't forget who give it to you. I reckon there's only one way to decide who I'll do business with. I'll flip a coin. Hey, what's, it, what's eating you fellas? Heads I take Barlow's, tails I take the tall guys.
Yeah. And what would you do with your cattle if he had taken your range? I'd rather lose my cattle than to lose my life, wouldn't I? He's bound to kill somebody unless he gets what he wants. Reckon you're right. It wouldn't be the hard hombre if he didn't kill someone. Hey, you. Listen to me. I'll look this range over. Decide on what I want. We'll talk business after I come back. Yes, sir. All, all right, partner. Suit yourself. Wasn't that close? He'll be back pretty soon. We better agree on some way to handle him. I'd get a million dollars if I had his nerve. If you had his nerve, you wouldn't need a million dollars. No, you can always find some poor suckers like that to rob. What say we shoot it out with them? You can if you want to, but me, I've got a family. Yeah, if you want him shot, why don't you do it yourself, Marlow? If you're looking for range, you're out of luck. It's all took. You mean I'm too late to save my cattle? That's the size of it. You might as well go home, Sonora. It ain't very safe up here anyway with a hard umber around. Is he here? There he comes now. Don't let on who I am. But they already know you are the hard hombre. Is she? Go pick up the lady's horse. Ain't you got no eyes in your head? Yes, sir. Hard on me now. Oh, you've got a lady with you. Yes. Good evening, sir. I hope you're feeling well. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, won't you come in and sit down and stop it, sir? I'm working for this lady. I want accommodations for her. Why, of course, certainly. Come right in, Mom. The cup is just ready. Can I do anything else for you? Yeah. Seeing you're so hospitable, I reckon you can cook supper for all of us. Why, we'd be delighted, certainly, sir. Come right in. That's enough. You want some meat? Uh, what'd you say? I don't understand just what you mean. Well, I'll tell you how it was. Well, me and my girl went for a ride one day. Started racing on a flat. The horse stumbled, threw her all over the prairie. When I got to her, she had a broken leg. What'd you do? The only thing I could do. 
Pulled out my gun and shot her. What, the horse? No, the girl. Poor Kate. That was murder. The only thing you can do with a critter with a broken leg. That's why I was so worried about you when your horse bolted with you this afternoon. Even if he's calling, he should have been a public hangman. Yeah. Was it you wondering how I happened to get called a hard Umbry? Who, me? Why are you curious about your affairs? You know, that's another funny story. Happened back in San Antonio. My father started to give me a whipping once, and, uh... What, what for? For killing a man, of course. Well, I knocked the old man down and shot him twice before he hit the ground. My mother said it took a hard umbry to do a thing like that. And I once thought I was tough. Now, uh, this is your side, and this is his. All right, senor. You gone to bed yet? Why, no. Well, I got something I want to say to you. Well, William, now what a surprise you turned out to be. You believe all that stuff I was telling at supper? Yes, of course I, I believe you. I wouldn't call you a liar. And to think that I bossed you around so much and never knew who you were. Is, uh, is that the gun that you did so many killings with? Well, uh, that's the only gun I ever owned. It doesn't look like it's been used very much. Uh, let me see it. Sure. Now, you get out of here, you disgusting reptile! You get out of our bullet trigger! <laughs> Go ahead, pull it. Now, let me show you. You see, with this kind of a gun, you have to pull this hammer back first, then you pull the trigger. But not now. You know, I had something I was going to tell you, senora. But I've changed my mind. Good night. Pleasant dreams. Morning, Miss Patton. Here's your mail. Morning, son. Thank you. Come along back after school and I'll give you a donut. Thanks. Morning, Miss Patton. Oh, morning, Sheriff. Going on a trip? No, going up to Green River Valley. All the cattlemen up there are fighting for water. There's the making of the biggest range war this country ever saw. Green River Valley. Been here half an hour now. I know we haven't. Hard, Umbre. What does he want? Oh, I don't know. Is that where you want to see everybody pronto? Let's move on. Listen, you all. We're going to settle that rain situation this afternoon over at the schoolhouse. I'm ordering every one of you men that have any range rights in that valley to attend. And leave your gun outside. Any objections? That's all for now. Say, when did you fellows start taking orders from that stuff shirt? That's loud. That's the hard umbre. Hard umbre, nothing. 
That's Peaceful Patton. You're wrong. Peaceful Patton's just an alias he uses when he's hiding out. If you men will give me enough range for my few cattle, I'll run him out of this valley for you. It's a deal. Right. So you're the hard hombre, eh? Yeah. I'm not hard, Umbry. You're a liar. And what are you going to do about it? Well, I guess I'll have to kill you. You better think it over, peaceful Patton. I'll get you to noon to get out of here. If you don't dust out of here by then, I'll be looking for you. And I'll shoot on sight. He got away with it. That ain't the hard umbra. We've been buffaloed. Well, I ain't gonna wait till this afternoon and let Abe get all the satisfaction. I'll get a rope. Say, listen, fellas, I'll tell you what we'll do. I heard you was around this country. I ought to kill you, and I would if you was any use to me dead. So what are you driving at? You know what I'm driving at. You may be a hard umbre, all right, but you're going to keep your promise and marry my little sister. And you better think twice before you say no. Oh! Oh, I wasn't going to turn down the opportunity, partner. I was just going to suggest that we adjourn to some place and talk it private. That suits me. Did you see that? This is far enough. Now, 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 wait a minute. It's against my principles to fight. You should have remembered your principles when you met my sister. Now, now, wait a minute. I'm, 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 I... He is the hard on me. Well, that fellow in his buggy. Get in and get out of this valley. If you ever show up around here again, I won't let you off so easy.
That was a tough job. How did you do it? You're always trying to find out how I do things. Huh. Time to go out and shoot it out with that guy. William! I don't want you to be cute. Thanks. You're the first person I've met so far that didn't want to see the hard Umbry kill. I'll remember that after the shooting. of the Green River Cattle Association will now come to order. I'm telling you, I'm not... Do you hear me, Barlow? All right, Mr. Chairman. Now, here's the valley. And here's all the worthwhile sections that can be cut up into. There being no objections from the map committee, the next thing will be to divide it up amongst those interested. But who gets which? Regarding that, I'm going to be guided by the golden rule. Ladies first. Senor Martinez, come up and take your pick. But I don't know which to pick. Me being the chairman, I can't advise you. But. I did notice the section that had the best bottom land. There's an agreement whereby you guarantee keep your stock on your own range. Sign here. Right there, please. William Penn Patton? Never heard of him. He might be down at the schoolhouse. The hard hungry told some meat in there. Thank you. Fine here, partner. We was the first ones here. 
We'd ought to got more. But Barlow, it ain't my fault if you was unlucky on the drawing. Are you looking for trouble with me? William Penn Patton, you come right home with me. Peaceful Patton. No sign of around here, Barlow. Nah, uh, he's plumb disappeared. Let's go. Who you running from? Me running? Yes, you. Oh, it couldn't have been me. What was them fellas chasing you for then? Oh, oh, I... Yeah, we made a bet. I bet they couldn't find me. Get on your horse. Where are you taking me? I'm taking you back to collect your bet. What you looking at? Do you always do things left-handed? Yeah, and I'm sensitive about it. So am I. I'm left-handed, too. Oh, you are, are you? I came up here looking for a left-handed body that resembles me. Nah. I don't think there's any resemblance. You're a lot better looking than I am. Never mind that. Get going. You think you'll have use to that? I'm hoping they bring him back here. So you're the Widow Martini. I should have known better than to let my boy go to work for a woman as pretty as you. Now see what's happened. Making him pretend that he's a bad man. Getting him into trouble for the first time in his life. He was getting away with it until you tried to take care of him. Now, if anything happens, you'll be to blame. Why? They won't do anything to him now. They know he's not the hard hombre, will they? <laughs> They'll do everything they were afraid to do when they thought he was the hard hombre. Well, if he gets out of this safely, I... I'll never interfere in his affairs again. Never. They're coming back. He must have gotten away. Maybe, maybe they shot him. Where's my boy? I don't know, ma'am. Last we seen, he was going like a bat. Ain't that him coming over there now? That's him, all right. William! William! Howdy, miss. I seen you fellas out trying to round up this Waddy, so I brought him in. What's he done? Beat us all out of our rights on this range. That's all. 
who are you? Did you ever hear of the Hard Umbry? Huh. I suppose you came up here to get your hands on the man that's been trading on your reputation. Yeah. Have I got him? You've got him. And I'll take care of him, too. Now we're going to see break loose. Head down. Yeah, but I was only just trying to have a little fun with the boys. Get down. No way, I was only having a little joke. Don't you point that gun at my boy, it might go off. I'll let go. But I, I... Keep your hands off my mother. Milk. Yes, and three more to come before I'll ever leave this place. Four. And two more coming. to my mother. Wonder what became of them two shots you had left. Come on out, all you men, and come with your hands in the air. Look what he done for hard hombre. What's going on here? Can't you see? We're being persecuted by peaceful patents. I ain't trying to persecute nobody. I'm just trying to enforce a range agreement. What agreement? I have it. Here. Say, that ain't legal. He forced us to sign it. I don't believe that, Barlow. Everybody knows that peaceful patent wouldn't threaten any man. I reckon you've saved your cattle, senora. Too late for you to start back to town, mother. You better come with us. I'll get you fixed up for the night. The hot umbry. Who did this to him? My peaceful pattern. <laughs> he wouldn't threaten any man. <laughs> The hard hombre's your boy. No, my boy isn't the hard hombre. Who is he? My boy, the man that licked the hard hombre.
Why, William! Or... Steel? Steel? That's better. <laughs>